it's Mickey. Um, so I'm just doing a quick video on the look I have on right now. Sorry it looks so bummy. It was just kind of one of those lay at home days, but then I really miss you guys. I wanted to do a video for you. So I brought myself to do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so my hair is kind of, oh, natural fluff puff ball or whatever. Uh, but I did do this really nice um, smoky eye look. And I did it all from my... Urban Decay Naked Palette, which I was super pumped to get, so I decided I had to do my first tutorial with it. I know I'm kind of late on the bandwagon and everyone's already doing Naked 2 tutorial, but I did one with the Naked, original Naked Palette. Um, so yeah, you guys want to learn how to do this really nice, smoky eye, um, just keep watching. And I'll hey guys, so let's get started with this look. First off, I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just going to be placing that all over my top lid and just underneath my bottom lash line and going all the way up into my eyebrow. Now guys, please don't mind my eyebrows. I know they're terrible. I'm getting them waxed this week. So first, after that, I'm going to be putting on a NYX Jumbo Pencil, Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm going to be putting this all over my lid. And then make sure you blend that all in. If you didn't notice, I also did put a little bit under my bottom lash line as well because we are going to be putting the eyeshadow there too. My first color I'm using is Virgin from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I'm going to be placing this into my tear duct and on the inner half of my eyelid. And then placing that just on the inner half of my lower lash line as well. The next color I'm using is Gunmetal, also from the Urban Decay palette. And I'm going to be placing this starting pretty close to my tear duct and then all over my lid. I'm not making sure this is super neat because I am going to be blending after, so it might look pretty messy right now. But you just want to keep layering until you get you're happy with the darkness of the color. Now guys, my eyes look so red. My contacts were driving me crazy today, so I had to take them off. I'm actually been wearing my glasses, so just ignore that. So the next color I'm using is Creep. And I'm gonna be putting just a very little amount on my blending brush and tapping it off and blending that into my crease. Now I didn't take very much, much of this, because it has such a dark color already. And I'm just putting that into my inner V as well, just to darken up that outer corner there. Now I'm taking my blending brush and I'm dabbing it onto just a piece of Kleenex that's to just rub off any excess color from the last color we use. And I'm going to be using the color Naked. Now this is a very light matte brown and I'm going to be blending this just above um, where we placed Creep to blend it all out. I just find that that color gives it a very nice gradient when you're blending. And also just blending slightly with whatever is left on my brush underneath my eyes to blend those two colors we put underneath together. And then I'm using Virgin. This is going to be my highlight color. And I'm going to just place that very lightly up on my brow bone. And then just slowly blending that out.
Then I'm also placing that just into my tear duct and then blending upwards. Then I'm using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil again in Milk and I'm going to be using this to line my waterline, my lower waterline. Just because we have so much dark around the eyes, I like to use this color my waterline to brighten my eyes up and the whole look up. And then I'm using my Maybelline Line Stiletto, which is my favorite liquid eyeliner right now. And using that to line my upper lash line and I'm also going to be winging it out because I think this look looks really nice with a nice dramatic wing. I like to start with my outer corner when I'm using liquid eyeliner and then go on to my inner corner. And then you can also see I'm just using whatever is left on my brush just on the outer half of my lower lash line. Then I'm using my new Lash Blast 24 Hour Mascara that's from CoverGirl and that's in very black and I'm going to be using this on my top and lower lashes. I do apply a lot of coats of this. I'm a matte mascara fiend. I never think that I have enough. And when doing the lower lashes make sure you get really close to your waterline in case you have any white um, of the jumbo eye pencil on your eyelashes. Somehow in this video, I managed to get mascara all over my face, and you might notice for in a little bit of the clips that I have mascara on my cheek. Yep, right there. I don't know how I managed it, but I did. I'm not the neatest when it comes to mascara. So then I'm going to be using my Smashbox lipstick, and it's a kind of very pale nude color. And it's in Nylon Nude. It's my favorite lipstick as of right now. And just placing that on my lips. Then over top of this, I'm using my NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss. Yep, that's upside down. I don't realize I'm not on the label. Oh, yeah, now I do. Oh, good one. Yeah, and it's in Pink Frost. And I'm just going to be placing this just over top of my lipstick. This right now is my favorite combination. I am using it almost on a day-to-day -day basis. Now I forgot to videotape the two, but you guys have all seen this. This is my Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And I'm just putting this on my top lashes and a little bit on my bottom lashes. I find this mascara is a lot darker than the Lash Blast 24-hour mascara by CoverGirl. And I like my eyelashes to be dark. Next I'm using my Instant Age Rewind Eraser of Dark Circles. That is in medium and that is upside down as well. Because I'm doing, I'm going to be putting this under my eyes after doing my eye makeup because I tend to have a lot of fallout with the dark colors. So all I'm doing is clicking the tube twice and tapping my concealer brush on the tube so that I can have some more control and not get it all over my makeup when I'm placing it on my eyes. There you can see me tapping it there. And then just putting on the triangle below my eyes. That way I get rid of any fallout that was there and get rid of those ugly dark circles.
So that's the look. I hope you guys really liked it. Um, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know what you think about the videos. And yeah, oh, add me on Twitter. It's Mickey Makeup XOX. So yeah, I hope to hear from you guys soon. Um, love you all. Bye.